This video is sponsored by State Room Statement, but more on that later. What is up, Travel Squad? We are back at it again. Back at it again. And today is a sea day on Icon of the Seas. And we're gonna go check out the cruise because I'm kind of excited to see all the neighborhoods now that all the excitement's died down on board. We can go and investigate what's fun to do on this ship. I have been absolutely dying to get into the gym. Oh yeah, me, me, no. not, not me, but good for you, I'm glad. <laughs> Gin and tonic. Oh. Swim and tonic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> swim and tonic swim out bar. But maybe the gym later. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. You probably saw we were going to ham at the gym before Icon, so I'll give you that one. That's, that's still in your brain. You're not in vacation mode 100% yet. Thank you. But before we go check out the pools, I really want to go check out the Aqua Dome Market. Yes. Because we walked through there the other day and it smelled like absolute heaven. And then possibly go to the pool and lounge around and see what's up. Maybe do some water slides. I don't know. Sounds like a perfect time to me but first i just want to give like an appreciation view or something of what we have we're, what we're looking at right now i'm sorry but god is great look at this view we walk out and it's the wake during the day how amazing is that one of the only things i have noticed though is that we feel a little bit more shaky you guys can see from the bottles right here i think those are the propellers the engines the vibrations coming up so you will feel a little bit of this but it's like it's so minimal laura just chilling with the wake in the background clear skies blue skies this is the best white noise in the world just want to say another shout out to stateroom statements because we're walking down this hallway right here to go get something to eat we're halfway and at the end of the hall, you can see the stateroom statements bang, so we know which door it is. So shout out to stateroom statements for helping us recognize which door we have. Yeah, and for giving us the best door on the ship. If you look at all these doors, nothing, nothing, nothing. Here's something with a little bit on it, but like you can still see all the way down and see all the magnets. So we're definitely the best dressed in the hallway. I literally was gonna say, we win best <laughs> dressed door on the cruise ship. So we're outside here and like we still have open seats. This doesn't feel packed like it usually does. All. I think it's because there's so many different options to go to. They did a great job spreading it out. Laura, even this, like this is a swim and tonic bar right next to the pool and the bar is empty. These tables are empty. On a normal cruise, we pro I promise you it won't be this empty. Is this the lime and coconut or swim and tonic? It might be lime and coconut. I might have mis misspoke. Yeah, I think it's the bottom one. But a pool bar nonetheless empty? Like that's not normal. No. Here we go to the Aquadome Market. And this isn't even that packed. Looks like they have a crepe station getting set up right here. I'm guessing you want some mac and cheese. I do, but I think for today I'm going to try feta. Okay, oh, the Mediterranean. Also guys, all of these are included. These are not an upcharge, so that's nice. So as Laura gets some food, I'm gonna snag a table. But I'm noticing everyone's like crowded around the Aquadome Theater. And I see that they have people practicing for the shows which is pretty cool. It's just cool you can come and watch them. Oh, so what do we have here, Laura? So it's basically like a build your own bowl or you can kind of get like a pita wrap. Yeah, like a gyro or something? Yeah, but I have like a base of rice and then I added tomato, onion, cucumber, feta, tzatziki, chicken, and falafel. Isn't this like the most beautiful little bowl? That sounds really good. But this looks amazing. I'm really excited to try it. Look at that. They're also doing rehearsal. This is, oh my God. I, I could really sit in here the rest of the day. All right, let's give it a try. I need them to bring feta onto land so that I can get it when I'm home. This is so flavorful. The chicken is flavored so well. It's not too salty, but it has just enough salt. This might be a daily lunch staple for me. I just went to the mac and cheese station, got a little helping. This is the bacon mac and cheese. I hope it's good. <laughs> Royals mac and cheese isn't the best, but you can't pass up some mac and cheese. I want to try the pizza mac. That one looked really good. I thought about it, but I was like, I'll let Laura try that one. We came into the ship expecting it not to be worth what it is. Around every corner, though, it's been surprising. It's like, Laura just let me try her food. Can I have another bite, please? Yeah. Like this? I'm going to get my, I need to get my own. I just dropped my only bite. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get any more. Anyway. You're done. Anyway, the food is amazing. The Mediterranean is a must. Like that is really, really good. I thought I had good Mediterranean in Atlanta. No, that is, it's fresh. I'm sorry, Kava who? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't, you don't, you don't disrespect Kava like that. You can disrespect Chipotle, but you're not gonna disrespect Kava. Let's say that's Kava adjacent. No comment. All right, lunch was good. They're still practicing in the Aquadome. But look at how gorgeous, this really does look like Eden. I think, yeah. 
I love that they took this over. You know what I can see? What? Uh, espresso oh, yeah. martini machine right the, there. The kettle one that we usually see on Celebrity. This is the Ryan Bean Bar. It's like a coffee bar in the front of the ship underneath in the Aquadome. Yeah, we haven't even seen this bar yet. All right, let's get two espresso martinis and then we'll head out to the pool. Let's go. Or do you see this menu right here? I think this is one of the most unique cocktail menus that I've seen on the ship. Guava hot toddy. A guava? What is a guava hot toddy? And a chai old fashioned. You see the guava hot toddy? It comes with Bermuda black steel rum. I think I need to try every single cocktail. Wait, are we not doing the espresso martinis anymore? I'm gonna do my espresso martini, but I think we need to come back here later. And if you guys are curious, you guys can pause the screen when you want. And you can just check out what cocktails I have. They have. And they have some non alcoholic cocktails. Exactly. As well. For the kiddos. Let the kiddos have their first drink of the day. Or people who don't drink alcohol. Or that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is my first drink of the day. Cheers. Here we go. Why do these look so creamy? Let me tell you why. Okay. He asked me, he said, I highly recommend it. Can I put some sweet cream cold foam on top? Like the one that Starbucks? Yes. What? Okay. I'm very excited. All right, let's 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 get the first drink of the day going. Hi, my name is Laura, and this is my first drink of the day. Oh my God, that's good. And I'm Fane, and this is my first drink of the day. Yo, shout out to whoever created this drink, because... Jonathan. Oh, yeah, Jonathan did. <laughs> yeah, the bartender, Elson. I was like, me? He made it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that. This is really good. Thank you. But no, like, this is... Especially when cheese sometimes can be, like, a little bitter and, like, a lot for me. But adding that little... The hint of sweetness is... Yeah, and it's not, like, milky and gross. It's just slightly creamy on the top. Okay, so we'll be back here. We'll be coming here for our special martini. There's too many, there's too many things to do on this ship. All right. Let's drink these and get to the pool. This is our first time at Thrill Island during the day. Ooh, ooh Chile. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, let me help Let me help you. There you go. Thank you. All right, it's Windy yeah. Island. This is gonna be so exciting. If you guys didn't know, this is the one, this is the first water park at sea. Usually cruise ships have like one or two slides. They actually have six slides here. Wow, it's like a, this is like a kid's paradise over here. I actually don't really see any lines. No, it's weird. They have like these little onion like sit-offs that you can just, they're free. Yeah. Look at these wet floors after there's bananas. So we're over here at the hideaway with the adults only area. And look how packed it is. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of people. And I hate how milky the, the water looks. I don't know, Laura, if I like this or not. It's a lot of people in here. Water looks kind of milky too. That's, I know, that's what I said. He's like, I don't know. Kyle Paolo got us the VIP treatment over here. So for some reason, you're not allowed to bring cameras on the slides. But Kyle spoke some like words to him and was like, yo. I said, hey, can I come up here with the camera? And he said, cool, go for it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, can't bring cameras on the water slide, but we can bring cameras up here. As long as you don't get on this on the slide look at this view right here wow there's so many stairs honestly uh, not compared to perfect day this is great that is true that this is, is true. fun because you get you get a break yeah coco coco cave is just like coco straight up just like... so after you come up these stairs come into this little area right here and you get to pick all the different slides and i think this is the highest part of the cruise no jewelries watches cell phones gopros or cameras on any of these water slides hopefully that rule changes in the future but as for right now the first couple of sailings no cameras the fact that this cruise ship has a raft ride wow guys if you're excited to see what else we get into on this ship this brand new world's biggest cruise ship go ahead and like this video and subscribe down below give us a seven day free trial seven days i promise you in that seven days i will give you at least two icon videos promise yeah and then if you don't like us after that kick us to the curb kick us to the curb give throw us, us off the ship bro give yeah, us, throw a us off the ship but laura if they're feeling a little bit more frisky what can i do if you're feeling a little bit more frisky you can hit that join button down below to join our youtube membership where there's a link in the description to join our Patreon membership. Both of those come with a few extra perks. Say frisky one more time. Frisky. I love it. The boys are headed out to try the water slide and we're gonna sit here and look pretty. Oh yeah, so and drink our drinks. So cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. So good. I got the bay and the beef. I got the bloom and botanical. It is by far the best drink I've had yet. I haven't had entire chip. Well, I haven't had too many drinks okay. yet, but this still does beat all the rest. Better than the woo-woo shot? I have to say better than the woo-woo shot. <laughs> the woo-woo shot was That's fine. Good. That's fine. So we just got done with the slides and they're not bad. Now we're just chilling, hanging out, drinking some drinks, enjoying life right now. So Trev and Chels just bought over some shots. They just keep putting shots in front of Laura tequila shots. Yeah. 
Why do we have shots over here? I told Trev, I was like, no, Laura wants a lemon drop. He said, it's too late. She's already my friend. So yeah, sick baked tequila shot. Have fun, Laura. Enjoy it. Make sure you drink the whole thing. It means you no longer get a choice because no longer cares about what you want. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Cheers. 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 Yo, this is a nice vibe. Cheers to the travel squad. I feel like we're on version. Yeah, honestly, this area over here, like the seating and the music and then the bar in the background, it's definitely giving Virgin vibes. I think they, someone went on a Virgin Cruiser Royal and was like, yo, I got this place. It is very nice, but I do wish that the pool was much bigger. Well, that was a nice impromptu little hangout. It was a little loud over there. We want to get in the pool, and as you saw, the infin infinite pool was kind of crowded, so we're going to go to Swim and Tonic Bar and get some get some drinks there. This is what I've been waiting for this whole time, is to go to Swim and Tonic. Because we love the one at Coco K, so hopefully we'll love the one here. I just love a bar where I don't have to get out of the pool. Because you know she's a water baby. Just make sure you take your mic off. Here we go. Here's the Swim Up Bar, oh, and it's in the shade. It's the shade! And it's not full. Can I do two towels? We gotta get towels first. You ready to go? Ready to get in? I'm so ready. No mics on you? Okay, good. Here we go. Laura, how Laura, how is it? Perfect temperature. So look at these menus. They're like leaves, like palm leaves. And it has the menu on the side or right here. You guys can pause it if you want to read it. I'm Peter and this is not my first drink of the day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, you guys. You enjoyed the woo-woo shots? Yeah, it was a pretty good one. Yeah. I got like a baby one though, so oh, okay. it was easy. If you guys don't know, they're Ornate Adventure, Peter and Kidra. Actually, if you go back to the Nintendo world, you'll see them in that vlog. How did you enjoy your first woo-woo shots? I feel so <laughs> special now. There we go. It was actually yeah. pretty good. You were indoctrinated into the Royal Caribbean community. I don't know, Welcome. but I thought I was being punked at first, but now I feel like I feel special. Thanks to travel free. Yes. For for giving us our first woo. -woo. There we go. Now we gotta for me, it was the, the cough woo. So. <laughs> I was talking about the menus earlier and how I like the leaves, but Vanessa found something out. Watch this. They float. They float. Wow. And it doesn't feel like it it's a floating material, but yeah. Laura, thank you so much for the strawberry sun sunset. Sure. What did you get? I got the purple tide. What are you guys sipping on over here? We also have the strawberry, strawberry. Oh, both of us? Oh, well, cheers yeah. to everyone. This swim up bar, though, has like little coves like they do at Coco Cay. It's amazing. This is the vibe right here. This is where I was meant to be. Laura, I think we're closing down the bar. Like, everyone is gone. No one's in the hot tub that we know. It yeah. closes at 7. So oh, does it? 30 minutes. This is your element. You are a water child. If someone could bring You're me my dinner water right water. here. Actually, Faye, can you get me some popcorn chicken? New day. New, new swag. New swag. I don't know what these are. Is this like a hip bag? Like a waterproof hip bag or something? Water waterproof crossbody bag. <laughs> Looks like a giant card holder. <laughs> yeah, it does. And just in case you're wondering, they do have the paper compasses for you. You don't just have to look at your phone. One hour later. It is time for dinner and I'm so excited because we haven't had a bocce in forever and we're going to a hibachi if you didn't tell you guys about that earlier. Look at my shirt. This is mainly homage to Laura. Laura. I'm pretty sure I know your name. I wasn't sure if you're going to say friends or Laura. You just claimed it? Yeah. I got a friend's um, Roosevelt shirt. I don't know where the, right there. Roosevelt shirt. Are you ready to go get some hibachi for the first time in a while? I'm ready and we're going to be joined with some very special friends this evening. Oh yeah. So I'm really excited. It's going to be a good time. Look at Laura's dress for tonight. Her outfit of the day. Nice and colorful. I'm very proud of this one because I did a lot of research and it's an Australian company because it's their summer right now. Do you want to do a little spinny spin? I do. Look at that. I love this dress, it's so beautiful. It is, and it fits nice too, right? I'll try and link it down below if they still have it. At least I'll link the company. Out here again at night in Central Park, the perfect place to take on, have like a double date. I love Central Park. It is nice, it is a nice little There's touch. There's nothing else like it. Tonight we are dining across the street from where we dined the first night and then headed to Azumi Hibachi and Sushi. This we got some amazing hibachi. favorite spots yes. on the ship. Always a must. The steak. 
buttery. There we go. And we're with Kyle and Casey. Hey guys, welcome to Hibachi. I probably shouldn't put the other mic off. Oh, hey guys, take two. We're at Hibachi, let's eat. <laughs> Finally have a dinner date on a cruise ship. Our first cruise ship double date. I don't know if that's true. Yes, it is. I think this is mine too. And here's the Zumi menu that we usually order off of. I think the, the dining package is only the classic, but we can ask. It's not too bad. You guys can pause the screen if you want to read it. And then they have the sushi on the other side. Starting off with the edamame. And you don't like edamame? No, but I still ate one just for Oh, fun. how was it? I didn't see you eat it. It was all right. Yes. All the garlic. All the garlic. Yeah. When we buy a house, can I get a blackstone in the backyard and like cook up pancakes and like kabachi and stuff like that? Like a flat top. As long as you have lots of butter and garlic. You know what I'm doing? Scoop it up sideways. Alright. Alright, so what do you, you want me to flick it and then just balance it? Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. I don't, what do you want to do? Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, babe. What? Nice job, babe. Thank you. Since I just did that, I think I deserve a black stone now. I showed my I'm good at what I do. I think you're going to have to practice just a little bit more. She didn't say no, though. So right now, Casey's about to do the, catching the egg in there. It's, it's on the floor. Her time's a charm. Oh. Yeah, put your thing over. Oh, there you go. Hi! It falls on me? Everyone is, all the guys have made it over here. Here we Yeah! Here we go. Espresso martinis for the for the group. The thing about espresso martinis is that when one person orders them, everyone has to order of them. Of course, of course. Yo, smell this. You smell the garlic in it? Yes. It smells so good. Let's taste test, shall we? Still good? Still hits? Is it the FMU? Wow. Yep. When it comes to Royal and Carnival, honestly, their hibachi is top tier. I'm about to smash this rice. It looks so good. The garlic is so prominent. Yeah. And just like, I love it. Perfect. If you guys, if we, we're going to preach this again. If you guys have never done hibachi on a cruise ship, try it out. And also pre order it before you get on the ship because it's usually cheaper. Set a reservation ahead of time before getting on the ship. You see this steak right here? And that steak? and even the steak down there. Let me fill you guys on in a little secret. We went to Chops the first night. It's a steakhouse. They have a whole different types of steak and stuff like that. But you cannot find more flavorful, tender steak than at the Hibachi place. If you want good steak, go to the Hibachi. On any royal ship, any carnival ship, you're gonna have the best steak experience. Melt in your mouth. One biter. Instantly cut it in half with one bite. It's so good. Oh, my head's not, is it big enough? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Is it big you're enough? Good. You're good. Look at this. Big brains, right here. Right here, look at this. Make oh, it look good, wow. make it look good for me. How do you want here me to- Here we go. Uh, That's sexy. Oh, um, <laughs> we're shooting, we're shooting um, a video. We're shooting um, a video. Uh, boom. Look at that. around with it. Uh, uh. So what did you think about the hibachi? Was it worth it? Was it worth the money? I wouldn't say it was the best one that I've ever had. Oh, that was really good for me. However, the steak was- Bussin'. It was smackin', smack slappin'. Smack and slap and but no, like it was pretty legit. I'm glad we did it. I hate that they charge, once you get the dining package, they do charge even more, like a surcharge. But you know what, it's whatever. I'm glad we got to hang out with Casey and Kyle and you, and we had a good time. It was a really nice dinner. I really enjoyed that. It was just the perfect way to end the evening. I agree. And the fact that I got to like, do the hibachi thing with the egg was pretty dope. They didn't have any other table doing that, so. Yeah, our guy was amazing. Guys, today has been a very fun, relaxing day. I am so happy that we were able to do the, how was the, how was the surf side? Or how was swim and tonic for you? Swim and tonic was awesome. I did not want to get out of the water. No, What's like, new? It felt like we were at, uh, back at the all-inclusive. Yeah, but it was so, so nice. And it was honestly just the perfect day at sea. There's so much to do on the ship. We didn't even know where to start, honestly. So it was a lot of fun.
So we were talking to some other people and guests and they were actually also surprised that no matter where you went, there wasn't a line, there wasn't like crowding or anything like that. World Premium really did a great job. God, I feel like I'm a sponsor, a spokesman, but I'm not. Like they did a real, they do a really good job. Crowd, not funding, but like crowd disbursement around the ship so it doesn't ever feel like it's like people on top of you. You guys know that we always tell our honest opinion and yeah. this has been it. And we honestly were not expecting this to be our opinion, so. We expected to come on this ship and be frustrated and annoyed, honestly, cause it's just like so much money, so many people, but honestly, my opinion has changed. So far, so great. I don't really have any major complaints. We're actually about to head out to the Red Party, the infamous Royal Queen Red Party, but I just wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor and a longtime friend of this channel, State, State Room, room Statements. State with all these amazing high quality magnets, where can you go wrong with your door decoration? You guys can use the link below to check out State Room Statements and use code TRAVELSPREE15 for 15% off of your order. You guys, we've been working with State Room Statements for years now because we truly believe in them and they're just an incredible company. Get your cruise magnets, get your cruise cups, get your cruise shirts, all from State Room Statements. And as we showed you earlier, our hallway is pretty lame. Our door is pretty much the best one decorated thanks to them. As we're doing our finishing touches to go out, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Give us a seven day free trial. If you don't like us, kick us to the curb after your after seven days. But if you like us, we hope that you stay. And if you really like us, you can hit that join button down below to join our YouTube memberships or follow the link in the description to join our Patreon memberships. And both of those come with a few extra perks. But as always guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. St. Kitts? St. Kitts? I've never been.